Hello there, Curious Kitty! In this behind the sketch video, we'll talk about a sequential art experiment I did in March to June of 2017. At the time, I was influenced by this little comic book by John McNaught called Birchfield Close. It's a slice of life kind of sequential art with minimal words. There is no overarching story in it, no main character either, but the little pictures were still wonderful. There's a kind of wabi-sabi flavor to it. If you're not familiar, wabi-sabi is a Japanese aesthetic pertaining to beauty that is imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. I'm currently reading a book called Impossible to Ignore by cognitive scientist Carmen Simon, and she also mentions wabi-sabi in her book. She wrote, Wabi-sabi is an invitation to simplicity, but not boredom. Even though the objects they capture are stripped down to their essence, they are emotionally warm. They are simple, but not sterile. Now, I wanted to try it out as a method to understand a character I was developing for a comic book. Mrs. Ethel. I've been trying to figure her out for a while now. I've been trying to find her story. But she's quite elusive. Her character hides behind a mask. So I wanted to be delicate in my presentation, as I wanted to be able to show the real her without spelling it out. I thought I would experiment with a few sequences where I'm just grabbing moments from her day when no one's watching her. This first sequence is called Extra Dry Watermelon. The first panel is a bit bizarre, because the image was directly extracted from a dream I had. I just incorporated it in the sequence because the succeeding panels contain watermelon in them and an extra dry sense of humor. The second sequence is called Interrupted Snacking. In case it's not obvious, these blocks are fried tofu. This is my favorite of the sequences so far because there's more action in it. And it reveals a little bit more about Mrs. Ethel. When I drew this, I learned that her character likes to rehearse or dress up her responses. That's why you see a delay in her text reply. The third sequence is called Edamame Tears. This is actually a funny one for me. But I can see how other viewers might find it a bit depressing, because it ends with her crying for no apparent reason. But the reason is right under her nose. The sequence was inspired by Scott Adams' Periscope I saw, where he mentioned how delicious edamame is and how he got so addicted to it, kept snacking on it until he started crying for no apparent reason. Which was very peculiar behavior, because that's just not something he would do when eating. Eventually he learned about phytoestrogens. He got just a little bit too much of it. That anecdote instantly reminded me of Mrs. Ethel. It just felt like the kind of thing she would snack on, so I drew this sequence. In here, I find more clues into her personal life. She has at least one child, and she doesn't appear to have a regular job. The painted panels were done in this little moleskine cahier notebook, and I used art graph, water-soluble graphite to paint the pictures. It's another notebook that's not meant for painting.